because of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral laws, the saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, for there was only one spirit in them and one faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we enter into this sacred celebration on this memorial of Saint Josephat, Bishop and Martyr, let's prepare ourselves so that we may celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let's pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled Saint Josephat as he laid down his life for his sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to Philemon. I have indeed received much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you, my brother. For this reason, though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do your duty, yet I would rather appeal to you on the basis of love. And I, Paul, do this as an old man, and now also as a prisoner of Christ Jesus. I am appealing to you for my child Onesimus, whose father I have become during my imprisonment. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he is indeed useful both to you and to me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I wanted to keep him with me, so that he might be of service to me in your place during my imprisonment for the gospel. But I prefer to do nothing without your consent in order that your good deed might be voluntarily, voluntary and not something forced. Perhaps this is the reason he was separated from you for a while, so that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. But if you consider me your partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he has wronged you in any way or owes you anything, charge that no to my account. I, Paul, am writing this with my own hand. I will repay it. I say nothing about your owing me even, you, even your own self. Yes, brother, let me have this benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord.
blessed are they whose help is the god of jacob blessed are they whose help is the god of jacob it is the lord who keeps faith forever who executes justice for the oppressed who gives food to the hungry the lord sets the prisoners free blessed are they whose help is in god jacob <coughs> The Lord opens the eyes of the blind and lifts up those who are bowed down bowed down the Lord loves the righteous and watches over the strangers blessed are they whose help is the Lord God of Jacob the Lord upholds the orphan and the widow but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin the Lord will reign forever your God O Zion, for all generations, blessed are they whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the vine and you are the branches, says the Lord. Those who live in me and I in them will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. You are reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once Jesus asked by Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming and he answered The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed nor will they say look here it is or there it is for in fact kingdom of god is among you then jesus said to the disciples the days are coming when you will lo- you will long to see one of the days of the son of man and you will not see it they will say to you, look there and look here do not go do not set off in pursuit for as the lightning flashes the light and the lights up the sky from one side to other so will the son of man be in his day but first he must endure much suffering and be rejected by this generation the gospel of the lord my dear friends in jesus christ we are coming almost to the close of yet another liturgical year hence the theme of the gospels during these days is eschatological Our Mother Church invites us to meditate on the last things such as death, resurrection, final judgment, heaven, hell, purgatory and the second coming of the Lord. This is not only a call to readiness but also to vigilance. In this morning's gospel, the pharisees asked jesus when the kingdom was was to come in reply jesus said to them the kingdom of god is among you the pharisees failed to see the kingdom of god was present to them in and through the person of jesus christ kingdom is the saving action of god which is present in the person of jesus who is the embodiment of god's reign he is the living incarnation of god's loving power revealed in his teaching in his many healing of the sick in casting out evil spirits and his loving compassion for the sinners and the outcasts these are all proof that the reign of god is in their midst 
the risen lord would say to us the same today the kingdom of god is among you wherever the spirit of jesus is alive and active the kingdom of god is there it is there when those who had been made to feel unwanted are given a sense of home when the sick and the suffering experience a compassionate and healing presence when those who seek the lord are helped to find him when those burdened by a sense of past failures are helped experience god's unconditional love and forgiveness there is the kingdom of god when people reflect in their lives the values that jesus taught and when they fully obey the will of god the kingdom of god is present there the gospel today teaches us that instead of trying to determine the exact time and date of the coming of the lord we should rather be intent on focusing our attention on the present realities of everyday lives instead of anxiously waiting for the coming of the lord which is absolutely nobody knows when we should when it is we should rather be praying and working for the coming of the lord in our lives the fact is that jesus is the embodiment of the kingdom of god precisely because of his unconditional and complete obedience to the will of the heavenly father that's why he never loses the sight of his direction towards jerusalem towards his suffering but first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation during these days we see a lot of calamities lot of tribulations lots of disasters and people are afraid and in panic this is precisely what devil likes but these events are not meant to frighten us these are simply a part of reality of life in this world instead we look at these as reminders that the world is imperfect and finite it has its end hence these also serve as a warning so that we may take our preparations and vigilance seriously the reign of god is already here among us for jesus is with us as we strive our utmost to fulfill god's will but the exact time and final coming of the lord when he will grant us the ultimate victory over evil and suffering is not for us to decide or not to be anx- anxious about it we just content ourselves with the fact that in the end victory is ours in jesus the, our lord let us be kingdom people by allowing jesus the true messiah to have complete control of our, li- our lives let us allow him to rule our lives by giving priority to him in all our actions in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit let us stand and offer our prayers Lord, we pray for the Holy Catholic Church, for the intentions of our Francis. Strengthen us in mind and heart and spirit that we may surrender ourselves to follow Christ firmly, resolutely and boldly, that Christian values may help hold our world together. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for our family of parishes, may we be reconciliers and peacemakers extending ourselves in passionate care and empathy to the alienated 
the unloved and wounded. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the students, teachers, administrators, and school workers. May this be a time of safety for them and their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all those who are sick and vulnerable. May they find healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Today's Mass is offered for the intentions of deceased family members, Mary O'Grady, Nick Macaroni, for their intentions. We pray to the Lord. Finally, let us all pray for our own personal intentions. Gracious and loving Father, we thank and praise you for your compassion and love in our lives. And we offer all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this divine to offer. Root of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that Saint Joseph hath professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Joseph hath pour out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end. We acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, first one and the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his saving death and resurrection, of, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ronaldo, Peter, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, Saint Joseph, who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, but only that my soul shall be healed.
Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is sent Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hall, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl out of the world, seeking the ruin of the soul. Amen.